In this video, I'll take you through the steps of rebuilding your brake calipers. We'll pop the cylinders, remove the brackets, rubber boots and sleeves, the seals and snap rings. Everything will be placed on the workbench, cleaned, and then everything will be put back together again. This is our project one year later. Performance has been very good and it's showing no signs of trouble. The slide pins pull out easily by hand. Before, the brakes were rock hard and noisy due to bad calipers and rusted brackets. But with the rebuilt units, braking is a lot smoother and more quiet. We have no leaks around the dust boot and I'm getting even pressure on both sides of the rotor. I used a caliper rebuild kit by BrakeBest. Each box includes a dust boot, a square o-ring seal, and a snap ring. The rubber boots and sleeves I got from Brakeware. I started the overhaul by soaking the calipers and brackets in degreasing solution. I'm using a wire wheel over as much of the caliper as I can reach. Anything I can't reach, I'm using a wire brush. I'm going to spray paint the calipers and I want them as clean and rust free as possible. Pay special attention to the underside of the caliper where the brake pads come into contact with the caliper surface. Here you can see the upper groove is filthy. The upper groove is where you lock the dust boot into place using the snap ring. The bottom groove holds the square o-ring seal, so be careful when cleaning. You don't want to gouge the surface. The brackets also need to be rust free at those points where they come into contact with the brake pads. The brackets weren't too bad at these spots. Where I found most of the rust was here, in the slide pin holes. Wire brushing is a good first step, but to get the deeper rust, the pits and grooves, you need a file. I use this half round file and a larger 12 inch round file. Keep working the surface over until you're down to the bare metal and the surface is smooth. The Haynes Manual has a section on how to rebuild brakes. At this point in our project, the manual tells us to lube the piston seal and brake fluid and to install it into the groove. We've done that and now we're installing the piston. I lubricated the sides with brake fluid and now I'm squeezing it, not forcing it into the bore. You want the piston to slide into place without twisting the seal. Notice how I didn't squeeze the piston all the way in. It sticks out about an inch. The added length makes it easier to slide the dust boot into place. Now I'm adding the circle clip. The circle clip fastens the dust boot into the upper groove. 
Make sure it's seated all the way around and not kinked up anywhere. The whole reason for the dust boot is to keep contamination outside the bore. If there's a kink or a rip, water will leak in and your calipers aren't going to last very long. This is the other caliper. I'm lubing the seal and inserting it into the lower groove. Now with this caliper, I did squeeze the piston almost all the way in, and this seemed to make it more difficult getting the dust boot into place. But with enough prying and poking, you can do it any way you want. Now you could clean the inner surface of the pistons. It's not necessary since it's not in contact with the brake pads, but it doesn't hurt brushing out the rust. What is important is to polish the outer surface. There should be no blemish or scratch on this area. Any sort of flaw will wear away at the o-ring seal. If your pistons are scarred or rusted, replace them. They should be in good condition unless there was a rip in the boot and water was allowed to seep into the bore, or if the brake fluid was contaminated. You need a compressor to force the piston from the bore, but you don't have to go out and buy one that's too expensive. I hooked up this brake line to the caliper and blew compressed air into the bore using a $10 compressor. You can get little plastic compressors at Harbor Freight for very little. I blew into the hose like this. It was a cold winter morning when I installed the calipers and brackets the slide pins, the brake line with the two washers on both sides of the banjo bolt, This is the finished product. You wouldn't want to rebuild your brakes unless you were willing to devote the necessary time and energy. I would suggest buying new brakes for everyone except hardcore do-it-yourselfers and students learning the automotive trade. In that case, rebuilding gives you practical understanding of the inner workings of the caliper without having to spend more than 10 or 20 dollars on gaskets, dust boots, and sleeves.